Okay, so I'm going to teach you how to turn with a, uh, an accelerator. Yeah. It's not the same as a wagtail. So people are used to using wagtails, they're doing a lot of this, a lot of okay. turning, right? Yeah. And if you're turning too much, right, you're doing a lot of this. Look at the, uh, the, the washer, flipping them out, right? So you always want to be under control. If you're under control and you've got your solution under control and you've got your technique under control, I'm going to teach you how to do rainbows. So you start at one side, you come down, you come down a little bit, and then you come up and over. Up and over. Up and over. Rainbows. Some people call it dive bombing. No, dive bombing is more like this. All the way to the bottom. Right. Well, there's, there's two methods that I, that I teach. Okay. There's, there's the, the full motion one there, one that's taking out the top and the side. So, you can come down, come down flush, not, not dive bomb like this all the way down. Some, some frames will dig in. So, come down all the way to the bottom, take that edge out, pull off, come down again, and then fill in the middle. But I, I used to teach that, and people used to say, why well, they're not doing it that way. I find it easy to do this. So, full motion. So, full motion is quicker, but it's a little bit harder to do. Because I'm buffing up against the edges many times. So, I'm coming down, coming back up, over, coming down. So I'm buffing up against those edges many more times. Now, the benefit is, I can work quicker like that overall. But if these edges have a thin lane sill, then uh, the more time I'm buffing up, I've got a chance to buff up and come over and then make a mess. So I always advise, if you're learning it, or yeah. if you're working on difficult windows, take up the top of the edge, and that corner there, come out, and again, like that, and then fill in the middle. Fill in the middle is the easiest part, because you're not buffing up against anything. So this is causing friction. Rubber against rubber cause friction. So sometimes it's just easier to just come all the way down, focus on that edge, focus on that edge. It takes longer, but you're more likely to get a, a, a full effect. But when you're, when you're very good and you're working on the easier windows to work on, you just want to go for full motion. It's a lot quicker, harder to do. I've made a little mistake there, but it's even easy to go and fix any mistake or make another mistake on the way up there. It's all about fixing the mistake before you finish the windows. And this um, is hardly ever used. So if you can try and keep away from using the glass cloth, the frame cloth is a different story, the white frame. If you just concentrate on keeping away from this, you'll work more effective with the squeegee, get 100% effect, and you'll work much quicker. So I've got no problem saying I'm four or five times quicker than most window cleaners. Yeah. But I'm not faster, I just cut out all the nonsense. Just so working more effectively. You concentrate on being effective, and that makes you efficient. I'm not interested in being fast, I'm yeah. interested in being effective. I like that. And that makes you quick. It's good stuff.